The goal of today's video is to try and replace a hard drive inside of a laptop with an SSD. This is something that will vastly improve performance on an older laptop that still has a hard drive. It's gonna make it boot faster, it's gonna make it more responsive, and it's gonna allow you to run more applications at once without it having to slow down. This computer, unfortunately, has a slow hard drive in it, but we're gonna help save it today. We're gonna to replace it with an SSD, and I'm gonna show you how to do it for the most part, on any laptop. So let's get started. Every single Windows laptop is going to be different. So you're gonna to wanna to do some research. Luckily, this HP laptop has a service manual that's available online that shows you how to take it apart. It's meant for service and repair people to fix this laptop. But luckily for us, it shows us exactly how to remove the hard drive step by step. So that's pretty neat. If you don't have a service manual that you can find online, Take a look around. There may be some tutorials on how to take it apart. There may be an article or something like that. And if you can't find any of that information online, watch this video anyway. There's two main ways that you can gain access to computers like this. And I'll show you that. One is through the keyboard and another is through the bottom. I've worked on a friend's computer before where he had to take the keyboard out in order to gain access to the inside of the computer. Typically there's tabs around the edge of the keyboard that will allow you to pop that up. If you think that may be the case with your computer, find a similar model to your computer that does have a video on how to take it apart. Chances are it's gonna be pretty similar. In the case of this computer, we have to remove screws and that's pretty much it. If you happen to have an HP 15-BS033CL, you're in luck, we're gonna take it apart today. Before we take this computer apart, we're gonna to wanna to clone our old drive to our new drive. If you happen to have another computer laying around, and you have two hard drive docking stations. You can do this on a different computer, but for simplicity, you may want to just do it on the computer you're doing it on. So we're gonna clone the hard drive to this SSD right here. In order to connect our drive to our computer, we will need a SATA to USB adapter like this one right here. They are fairly cheap and not too hard to come by, but just know that you will need a drive sled like this in order to connect our SATA drive to the computer so that we can transfer data from the old drive to the new one. In order to clone the drives, we will need a piece of software called Macrium Reflect Free. I'll have a link in the description. It's free to download and free to use as it is in the name. Once we have our drive connected to the computer, we will go ahead and open up Macrium Reflect. From the drive list, we will select our drive that's currently holding the operating system. Click that box and then there will be a button to click clone this drive. From there, we'll select a drive to clone to. Hopefully, you'll be able to see your empty drive right there. Just click that. From there, just click next, and it will do everything for you, and that's all there is to it. First thing we need to do is take out this screw right here. This will allow us to remove the optical drive. This does need to come out because we have our plastic piece right here, which does going to get in the way of the optical drive. We're gonna remove screws on this computer right here. We have two right here two right here, one here, and then there's four hidden under the feet. Typically, there are screws hidden under the rubber feet, so definitely make sure you check underneath before you take it apart, because that would be a bad day if you happen to pull it off with the screw still in. To remove this bottom case right here, there's tabs all along the side. We can see four of these tabs right here. The service manual recommends starting at the front, working your way to the sides and then the back. What I did is I started right here, and I went in between the keyboard tray and the side panel, popping up this side. And then I moved to the front, this side, and then just lifted up, and then the top came off like that. From here, we have access to our hard drive, which we can just remove like this. And we have access to everything else as well. We got our RAM, if you want to upgrade that or add more. And if you want to go for an M.2 drive, we have a slot right here. It's going to vary based on every computer, but it's cool that we do have options for more expandability and upgrades if you want to do that while you're inside the computer. And just like that, we are done. The computer's back together and it works amazingly. With the software that we used, it copied everything. So everything is on there just as if the hard drive was still inside the computer. There's nothing that we really need to do extra than put it back together. It works perfectly well. It turns on incredibly fast and all the apps are super responsive. So I say this mission was success. We successfully revived this old laptop and put some new life in it with an SSD. If this video helped you out or if you have any questions, let me know. I will do my best to help you. 
and definitely get subscribed so you don't miss any more videos where we fix stuff and take stuff apart. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching as always. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.